Welcome to Mr. Ramsey land. Today we're learning about what pollution looks like when it goes into a body of water like the river, an ocean, a retention pond, and how it gets there down the storm drain. This is our Fred the Fish pollution play and we're going to start with table one. Go ahead table one. Fred swims past a park. Some people having a picnic didn't throw their trash away into the garbage can. The wind blows the litter into the storm drain. Okay, add your litter. Ah, oh, I see everybody's adding litter into their into their tray. Add your litter, cup one. All that litter. There it goes. Oh no. Oh, your fish is swimming around in litter. Oh, oh, that litter. Okay, we're at table two now. Table two. What? What? Do, what happens next? Julia is watching a hole. The soapy water flows down the driveway into the street and into the storm drain. Oh, add cup two. Add your soap. Oh no! Look at all that soapy water going into the storm drain and then into the retention ponds and the rivers and the ocean. Oh no! Looks like Fred the fish is having a hard time. We're at table three. And Corbin, what happens next? Wait, I read number nine. Oh, who's reading number three? Okay, Hannah, what happens next? Scott doesn't use trash bags. He takes the garbage can outside and throws all his loose trash into the garbage bin. When the garbage truck picks up Scott's trash, it blows out of the truck and into the storm drain. Oh no, add your trash. Oh, it's looking pretty bad for Fred the fish. Look at all that garbage. Oh no. Okay, table four. What happens next to Fred the fish? He... David and... Ho um, Jose are riding skateboards around the neighborhood. They sit down on the curb to eat candy and this and stick their candy wrappers down the storm drain. There goes the candy wrappers. Oh no, it's getting even more murky. Look at all those candy wrappers in there. Gross, poor Fred the fish. Okay, table five. What happens next to Fred? Mariah is walking the family dog Spot. Spot needs to go to the bathroom. Mar Mara Mara is careful to make him to make him is careful to make him go along the curb in the street so Spot isn't messing up the neighbor's lawns. She doesn't worry because she knows the mess will go down the drain. Oh no, so the dog's poop is going down the storm drain? Add the doggy do. Oh, gross. Oh. Oh, no. Fred is swimming around in dog do. Okay, table six. What happens next? Oh. Um, six. Fred swims. Past the parking lot, he's noticed it, it is starting to rain. Some cars parked there, there are leaking oil. The rain washes the oil into the storm drain. Add your oil. Oh, the oil's floating on the surface. Oh, how gross is that? Add your oil. Oh, oh no. It's looking pretty bad for Fred. Oh, he's swimming in a cesspool of sludge. Okay, we're back to table one. What happens next? Mr. Miller is mowing his lawn and trimming the bushes. He sweeps the extra grass and leaves into the street. When the rain falls, the yard clippings are washed into the storm drain. Add your yard clippings. Oh, no. Now he's got to swim around in grass clippings. Oh, add those clippings. Bye-bye clippings. Okay, and table two. What happens next? 
Matt is planting the new Matt is planting new plan plants in his yard. He uses a big pile of soil for for his project. When he when it starts to rain, he goes inside his house. He doesn't cover the pile of dirt in a tarp. The rain washes the soil down towards the street and and into the storm drain. In goes the dirt. Oh, look at all that dirt. Add your dirt. Look at all that dirt. Oh, it's not looking good for Fred. He's looking pretty dirty. Okay, table three. What happens next? Don't try this at home. Mary just washed, or just finished painting her house. She holds the brushes over the storm drain and sprays them with the hose to clean them off. Add your paint. Oh, oh no. No, it's clean. Oh, poor Fred the fish. Looks like he's going to have a hard time surviving in all of that pollution. Fourth graders learning about pollution and its effect on wildlife. Good job, fourth grade.